I've come to Church House Westminster today to talk to Dr Rachel Jordan about the latest statistics from the ONS that show that 71% of people in Britain describe themselves as Christian. Well, we were all well, pleasantly surprised to discover that um, statistics when they came out on this Friday show us that perhaps the decline that we've all been talking about for so long um, has kind of bottomed out because they're very similar to the findings of 2001. Um, this means roughly out of 10 people, say, if we had a portion of the population of the UK, if we had 10 people, that um, seven of them um, are saying that um, they would say their faith is Christian, which is actually very positive for us. I remember when the 2001 figures came out, a lot of people just assumed there had been some kind of mistake and that later research would show the numbers to be wildly exaggerated with the real figure, maybe 40% 40 40 maximum. So were you surprised that it was still so high? In fact, almost exactly the same as 2001? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Simply yes, I think, because I think we have got very used to a, re a rhetoric of saying that the church is in decline. And so, it, yeah, it, I think it was a real pleasant, positive surprise. I mean, the latest figures from Christian research also show that the decline has bottomed out. But of course, what cannot be contested is that while the allegiance or the stated allegiance of, of people for Christianity is, is quite high proportionately, actual church going is not at the same level, is it? No. What? Um, so, say, out of those seven people, um, about two of them are um, really active with their faith, or they would say they were active with their faith, which probably means they're coming to church and really want to be part of a recognised Christian community. And we um, have given out £2 million around all the 43 dioceses we're in the last year this year to give money to young people in particular to share their faith with their friends um, and to explain their faith in relevant ways because sometimes perhaps what we do in church may not be appealing to that generation in particular. So then we say to them, what would you like to do? How would you like to explain? the meaning of your faith to your friends so they might be interested um, so we have funded all different things from lots of pizza, bean bags um, some people like wanted to hire a beach hut and do surfing with their friends and talk about God as creator and do that in a much more inspirational way than it was going to happen in a church service so that's been a really fun project um, the other thing I'm involved in is um, an initiative called Fresh Expressions and um, we've been helping people been having a kind of new type of vicar, for want of a better term, called a pioneer, which is somebody who's really going to engage with perhaps the people who've got furthest away from church, have maybe never ever experienced church, they don't really know anything about the Christian faith, and so these people in particular would look at new ways to engage there. How about the, um, the guys who just do skateboarding? Um, how would we engage with them? They are very unlikely to walk into an 11 o'clock church on, you know, service on Sunday morning. And if they did, it might seem extremely foreign to them, for want of a better term. So, how about going out to where they are? And so the whole Fresh Expressions um, movement has bubbled up in the Church of England to take the Christian faith and to make it relevant to where people actually are. So instead of just saying, look, you come to us on our terms and we're open at 11 o'clock on a Sunday, and if that's inconvenient that's inconvenient, we're saying, well, look, when is convenient? And how about if we come and do what you're doing? And then we can share our faith there, which might be far more relevant to them. And actually, that again has um, brought real new growth